seems like the past year has gone by pretty quickly, but every day for me has been more of a chore when I have to spend it in the gym bodybuilding. You know, there's a reason I stopped lifting weights years and years ago, completely sick and tired of being in the gym every day. Of course, I did choose the worst time to start this transformation, uh, seeing as everyone is locked inside, all the gyms are shut down because they have to usher in this new world order nonsense. Uh, even if gyms did open back up in a reasonable manner, I wouldn't consider them safe anymore. You know, before this, we had high Wi Fi level concerns, everyone has their cell phone, but now, who knows what they're doing with these filtration systems? They're putting even more crap in these gyms. I would say you should not be working out in a public gym anymore and no gyms to my knowledge take these precautions against these high radiation devices. Uh, we did a video I think four or five months back explaining this. I think it was titled, Are Gyms Safe? And I was hoping that all this stuff would be over by now, but it seems like I was unfortunately correct with my prediction six months ago. This is going to last about 18 months to fulfill their 666 evil satanic bullshit prophecy it looks like they're gonna crash every small business, impoverish as many people as possible, create the longest bread lines for soup kitchens we have ever seen, make people desperate enough that they will do anything to resume life back to normal, including getting injected with DNA-altering soft metal poison. I guess you could say my thoughts on the state of the world aren't too optimistic, and the mindset of everyone on this planet right now is mostly negative. And I think bodybuilding in general, let alone at a time like this, is unproductive. You know, you're not really building health, you're not building natural strength. You know, although natural bodybuilding is definitely something you would consider healthy compared to the average American, uh, it's not functional, it takes an incredible amount of time and resources on a consistent basis, and it really does take over your life when you have to get all of these meals in, workouts every day, basically a second part-time job. You know, three to four hour commitment minimum every single day. And it's one thing if you're getting something in return, if you're a fitness influencer, if you really enjoy doing it and it gives you satisfaction. Uh, but for me, at this point in time with what I'm doing, it's, you know, I'm not too happy about it. Uh, that's if you're natural. You know, these enhanced athletes using boatloads of drugs have to eat twice as much food as me, three times as many meals, spend two to three hours in the gym, and it becomes a full-time job. Six, seven, eight hours per day committed to maintaining an insane amount of muscle mass. And that type of bodybuilding is definitely unhealthy. So much stress on your liver, kidneys, digestive system, cardiovascular system compared to a natural bodybuilder which is probably just digestive system stress, maybe a little bit of stress on the heart. I'm sure all of you are familiar with why this started. You know, I made several workout advice videos using my personal knowledge from when I was bodybuilding in my teens and early 20s. However, my appearance was not indicative of my peak musculature. You know, I was a 140 pound fairy boy twink in those videos and my form was incorrect questionable uh, because it doesn't line up with what most people are used to seeing. Uh, so you guys gave me a bunch of shit and I got torn apart by my viewers and several other YouTubers for posting videos and you know I could have backed down and just let it go but then I would have to admit that I was wrong and I believe strongly in my training style my understanding of hypertrophy just like I believe strongly in what I do for nutrition and diet. And you know, over the past three, four years of me doing my YouTube channel, I have fought very hard to establish my understanding of nutrition. And I feel like I'm in a similar boat with fitness and bodybuilding, except, uh, you know, nutrition has more unknowns than fitness and bodybuilding does. So it's a, uh, a bit hard, but there's definitely some parallels between the struggles I've had uh, in both of those aspects. Uh, so you guys went from calling me uh, a vegan girl uh, to accusing me of using steroids, pretty, pretty drastic uh, transition. Uh, which I think is comical because I am the only person who has posted a drug test on YouTube. The only person ever, natural fitness influencer, that has posted a drug test. Literally the only one. 
And now I'm getting gang stalked by a bunch of vegans and carnivores that are trying to discredit me. I won't even use creatine, guys. You guys know my liver function was terrible from taking Accutane and the iron overload problems the past year or two. I don't grow any facial hair. This It's completely preposterous. I weigh 155 pounds. These people will say and do anything to discredit me or my businesses simply because they can't compete with my understanding of nutrition, the work ethic I put in to educating people and improve their health. And now they're not too happy that I'm looking better than all of these vegan juice heads. I would say I proved everyone wrong six months ago as I haven't put on that much muscle mass since. You know, the muscle memory from my past lifting weights has done most of its thing. My sleep is slowly getting better, and I would like to stick to the bodybuilding mainly because, you know, fitness is really marketable despite what's going on, and it's the only thing besides nutrition that I have an understanding of that I consider myself good at. And if I decided to do just what I wanted to do, you know, hike in the woods for an hour or two every day, it doesn't really add much content to my channel even though it, it might be the best decision long term for my health. Uh, that being said, you know, I would be a lot happier if I also didn't have to eat all of this food and spend that hour in the gym every day. You know, if the world wasn't locked down with this BS, you know, I would say I could travel and do certain things, but now that all there really is to do is stay locked in my garage eating ground beef and lifting weights, you know, I don't want to throw in the towel yet, uh, but I'm still swaying back and forth on what the play is. So I'll hit some poses for you guys. I'm only two or three pounds heavier than three months ago. I think I'm around 159, 160 now. And these past two months especially, I focused on symmetry, my shoulders, kind of laying off arms a bit, doing mostly single arm movements. And from a natural perspective, you know, I'm not gonna put on a substantial amount of muscle mass without doing this for years and years and years and years. You know, I think this is going to be a long-term investment to just put on, you know, two to four pounds of muscle every single year at this stage. And I really wanted to launch my routine six months ago, and now it's been a year and this BS still isn't done, gyms aren't open yet. And I think I just have to come out with it regardless of what's happening and whether or not I continue bodybuilding. You know, the training principles that I go over will be able to be applied to any sport, strongman, powerlifting, calisthenics. Uh, so hopefully I'll get you guys that routine before November. I'm not really going to hit any poses. I honestly don't think, you know, I look that good with my you know, long arms and I don't have much of a V taper, but I look pretty good relaxed and, you know, my arms are around 17 inches now you know my back is is much more developed than it was when uh i started off it's kind of hard to look good in like the uh you know the front double bicep and like the some of the poses that expose weak points more so we'll do simple stuff side chest So I'll try to start tapering in some more fitness content after we do that routine this month. And uh, if you guys could please, you know, drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below. Hey, it's the least you guys can do for me sticking through this for a year. And uh, if you guys do want to support me further, you can check out frank-stefano.com, see all my other businesses and various consultation services. Thanks again for joining me today, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.